from our upcycled life and welcome to my channel today I have a really fun DIY uh, plant hanger kind of has a boho kind of farmhouse feel um, and super simple you, all you need is a banana hanger that you find at the thrift store the ones that sit on the counter um, a glass jar I actually just emptied out a salsa jar and that's what I used for this project um, some dollar store twine and my homemade chalk paint recipe and I'll make sure you put a link in below in the descriptions for the uh, recipe to the chalk paint because it's a really good one um, and some Mod Podge uh, and I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step tutorial so you can make one for yourself if you like thrifting DIY and repurposing you've come to the right place and we'd love to have you follow along make sure you like subscribe and hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss any great content okay let's get started this is a banana hanger that I picked up at the thrift store. Uh, it lo actually looks like it might have been handmade and it was $2.99. I'm going to put two coats of my homemade black chalk paint on it um, and just let it uh, put one coat on and let the dry thoroughly and then put the second coat on. Okay, now I'm going to take the palm sander to it. Um, I'm using an 80 grit sandpaper on it. I like, uh, I really like my projects kind of having that rustic, chippy look, so I tend to sand everything. Um, you don't need to though, you can leave it just as is, um, but I'm going to sand around all of the corners and anywhere where it would naturally have worn off. These banana stands are really easy to find. I always find them at the thrift store and they're always really cheap. So you should be able to find one um, without a problem. And I am using a salsa jar, one that I just emptied, and I've already put one coat of my homemade chalk paint on it, and I've let it dry, and now I'm just going to apply the second coat. You don't want to put it on too thick, just kind of um, spread it all around so you can't see through the glass anymore. I find this chalk paint recipe adheres really well to the glass. Um, I have tried to just use a regular latex paint and an acrylic paint and it just doesn't seem to adhere as well. So I always, when I'm doing glass, um, paint it with the chalk paint. And now we're ready for the graphics. I've made these graphics on PicMonkey um, and you have to make sure that you reverse the text and you can only use a laser jet printer. This technique will not work with an ink jet printer. It just does not have the ink come off as well um, and adhere to the chalk paint on the jar if you use an ink jet printer. Okay, now we're ready to put the graphics on. This is exactly like Mod Podge. It's made by DecoArt and it's called DecoPodge Matte um, Sealer. And it works just as well. I just had a hard time finding Mod Podge on Amazon and all the stores were closed so I pick up this product and I'm happy with the results of it. You just want to liberally coat the graphics, um, not too thick, just a light coat and make sure you've covered all of the lettering. We're ready to put the graphics on the jar. Make sure it's centered. You don't want to have your project ruined because the graphics are crooked. And then you just want to take your fingers or your thumb and just press out all the air bubbles and all the wrinkles and make sure it lays really flat on the jar. I've let it sit overnight and I'm just going to take a little damp rag and just dampen all of the graphics until you can start to see the lettering come through. The trick here is not to wet it too much. If you wet it too much, you'll lift the graphics off of your um, paint and your jar. So just lightly until you can see the lettering and then just take your fingers and start to rub off the paper. 
This takes a little bit of practice and a little bit of patience, um, but you just want to lightly rub. You don't want to be too aggressive with it. And the first couple projects you do, it might not work all that great, but uh, just keep trying because it is a knack. And um, once you get the hang of it, it's really easy. And it's all ready for me to make a hanger. And I'm going to be using the uh, jute cord from the dollar store. It's a great big, as you can see, it's a mess. It's kind of unraveled on me. Um, but that's what I'm going to use for the hanger. I'm going to cut the length of how long I want the hanger to be. And then I'm going to hot glue it onto the jar. I'm using my scissors because I have been burnt by hot glue and it does not feel very good. So I think I've got the length that I want. I'm going to trim off the little edges and I'm ready to wrap some jute around the neck of the bottle. I'm just going to start at the back and just wrap the jute around the neck of the bottle. You don't need a whole lot of um, glue. Just I kind of just sparingly dot it around um, the lid and just make sure that it's adhering well. And I'm going to seal it with the Verathane Diamond Wood Finish. It's a water-based satin, non-yellowing, um, and I like to use it because it leaves a really nice finish on it. It's not waterproof, but it's water resistant. So make sure when you're watering your plant, you just um, are careful not to slop it all over. Okay, and now I'm going to put a little plant in it. I found this little succulent um, at our local grocery store, and I thought it was so cute, and I knew it would fit perfect right in the little jar. 
And now we're ready to hang it on the banana stand. I think it looks really cute. It kind of has the boho kind of farmhouse feel to it. And you can use any graphics. The possibilities are endless. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, tutorial and we would love for you to like, subscribe and follow along.